Welcome back to the Bitray. I'm Sean. And I'm Eric. And, and this, this is, is the, the Inner Circle, Circle Gaming, Gaming Network. Network. High five. Yeah. So uh, we are here just to tell you guys that we apologize for not making as much content as humanly possible. So sorry. But we are going to be upping the videos and making a whole bunch of new stuff. We're going to do some gameplay reviews and all this other stuff. And he just did a Resident Evil 7 review, which is totally fantastic. It's going to be up next. Before that, remember to subscribe and like our videos and stuff like that and just try to help us out we're only at 90 subscribers and we're trying to hit the the 100 so if you guys can just please press that follow button so zach is on vacation so is brandon and they will be back uh things are going to be going back to normalness very soon so uh we just wanted to check in with you guys tell you guys that we miss you and that we are totally totally gonna keep going with this and maybe oh, yes. we might even talk about other stuff we got some movies ghostbusters coming out in a couple weeks so we're gonna see how it is we do not know if it's thumbed down yet let's I not judge it because it's ladies and he watched the conjuring too so we're probably going to be doing some reviews on that stuff so i don't want this video going on too long now here is eric uh, eric with yeah. uh resident oh. evil 7 yes yeah the, uh, playstation demo playstation 4 stuff so see you guys later and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Is Capcom taking a new twist with its upcoming release, Resident Evil 7? I'll let you decide. So I got to sit down and play the teaser demo of Resident Evil 7. And I must say, though it didn't show much as far as enemies and what you're up against, it did bring back that creepy peek around corner feeling. Now, Resident Evil 7 is going to be first person, which I think is genius, because what's more scarier than not being able to see what's behind you breathing down your neck? Kind of terrifying when you have to look and see for yourself. Now, from what I'm understanding, the demo will not be at all in the final release. So this demo is more a taste of what to expect in the wake of Resident Evil 7. If you haven't played it yet, don't expect to see the Hollywood heroes that you're used to. That's right. Resident Evil 7 is luring away from the almighty cast of greats. So no Leon, Claire, Jill, or even Chris. Which brings the question to, who was the leading role of Resident Evil 7? Hmm. Confirmed reports say the producer, Mr. Kawada, and director, Mr. Nakanishi, both want the gamer to be the protagonist so the fear is real as through your eyes, not some super buff action star. Which is why they went with the first person, as opposed to over the shoulder, or the multi-camera view. Now, I personally have searched all over the web for even a slight view of what to expect, but to no avail, nothing has surfaced. My advice, go to PlayStation Network, download it, try it for yourself. I mean, don't take my word for it, but take my word for it for real. It's a great game, I liked it. I mean, the demo, it doesn't end one way, it ends multiple ways. You'll just have to find out how it does it. Well, good luck, happy gaming.